In today's English lesson, you are going to learn English at a candy shop, also a Halloween store. I've already gotten permission from the owner. His name is Greg, and he said I could film anything I wanted. So let's do it. And this is going to be like a hotel English lesson. I will not stop recording for any reason. So maybe I make a mistake. Maybe, maybe a random pickup truck honks at us. I will not stop the English lesson until we have walked through the entire store. So it's almost like you're right there with me. Let's look at this first thing. It's a knight in shining armor. That's a knight in shining armor. That is a uh, Adirondack chair, Adirondack chair. So I'm going to do my best not to film any of the customers in the store, but <laughs> the owner said he didn't care. But I don't wanna make anyone feel uncomfortable. Before we go into the candy shop, let's take a look at the view out here. It is, um, I've used this term in another English lesson, and that is nestled in, nestled in. This candy shop is nestled in the mountains. There are mountains on this side. You can't see them, but there are mountains on the other side. It's nestled in mountains, mountains all around the store. If you want, you can get some shakes here. Those are drinks, but made with a lot of ice cream. Shake my cookies, $11 if you want it. Now I think they're playing music, but Greg said it was okay, so thank you. Look at this alien right here. Yeah, the music might be a problem. Is it easy to turn the music off here? Or? a little bit down. If, if that's okay, is it easy to do? Yeah. Okay, because YouTube doesn't like it when I use music, but it's okay. I'm just gonna film and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> so let's take a look at some of this candy here. Those are called candy sticks. Those are really old timey. That's a adjective we might use. Yeah, lots of music here. But old timey means they're from a long time ago. Old timey candy, candy sticks. They also have bacon candy. I know so many watching cannot eat bacon. So you might not be able to eat this candy, but bacon candy. Let me know in the comments, would you eat bacon candy? I would definitely eat this gummy cupcake. Look at this, this is old timey soda. Bubble gum soda. Do you know what a zombie is? Um, if you've ever seen the American TV show Walking Dead, there are zombies in that show. So, it's strawberry orange soda. Oh, I didn't realize the music would be so loud here. Blueberry soda. I am filming this in the state of New Hampshire, but this is actually this is actually made in my state of Maine. Blueberry soda. What else do we have over here? Pez. We have Pez over here. Spider-Man Pez. How 
about this guy? Do you know him? Very famous American guy. His name is Bob Ross, and he did a lot of painting. He's, he's not with us anymore. That's another way to say he's died, but he had a painting show. It was very famous back in the 80s and 90s. If anybody is a Star Wars fan, we have Han Solo, and he is in Carbonite. Let me know in the comments. Are you a Star Wars fan? That's Bigfoot. I did an English lesson about Bigfoot, and uh, I will leave a link in the description below. Bigfoot. Ooh, that song's done. We'd call these things board games. It's a little... I'm teaching a, an that's, English that's lesson here. <laughs> yeah. Without the phone, right? Right. Sorry. Thank, hey, thank you so yeah, much. No so we just passed board games, but these are card games. No, actually they're not card games. No, they look like card games. This is a party hat for a cat. So not a, a card game. I'll show you what a card game is. Those are card games. You play games with cards. And these are greeting cards. So let's say your friend just had a baby, you might give them a card to celebrate that. Congratulations on your new little slugger. And a slugger is another name for a baseball player. They slug the ball with a bat. And that French Bulldog is in a baseball glove. Do you know what a hot mess is in English? It's probably somebody who's not doing too well at life. Uh, they probably had a, have a lot of stress in their life. Hot mess. Uh, but the sweet smell of success is just another way to say you are winning at life. You are doing really well. Yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about that. You know what patriarchy is? This says smash the patriarchy. Big word in English, but patriarchy is basically a world run by men. Smash the patriarchy. So, smash it. That means um, women should have equal rights too. Smash the patriarchy. Hopefully you dream big, have big dreams. Hopefully you dream that you learn English one day completely, really well. We might call these things practical jokes. You could go to a friend's house and leave this here and they might think that they spilled their beer. But then you could say, nope, it's only a joke. It's not real. We would call these things necklaces. You wear them around your neck. It's jewelry you wear around your neck. We're getting close to the Halloween stuff. The Halloween stuff is just through that door. But what about Day of the Dead? I am filming this on November 12th. Not easy to say, right? November 12th. But I think Day of the Dead just happened last week in Mexico. 
That looks like a Day of the Dead design. If you're watching from Mexico, please let me know. Did you celebrate Day of the Dead? Even if you aren't living in Mexico. Oh, let's go look over here. There are some ears. Maybe you want to dress as a cow. There are some cow ears. Also some bunny ears. I think that's another type of bunny or rabbit. We would use both names, bunny, rabbit, basically the same thing. Try not to record anybody in the store. Don't want anybody to feel uncomfortable. A lot of Americans don't like being on camera. More Star Wars stuff. Here's the Joker. Have you seen that movie? The Joker? Or actually, that looks like the Joker from Batman. Not the Joker movie. Heath Ledger playing the Joker. That's a Willy wig. Do you know Willie Nelson? He's an American country singer. And that looks like a, a wizard's hat. Maybe Mickey Mouse. Looks like it, uh, some mouse ears there. That looks like an old timey pilot's hat. All right, now we are going to enter a very spooky part of the store. Did you hear that? It's already getting spooky. Oh, watch this. Oh no, I think it's marvelous. Yeah, we would call that spooky, maybe scary. That's a witch, that witch is pretty scary. In the United States, Halloween is on October 31st. So we just had Halloween a couple weeks ago. That's a skull that also looks like it might be from Day of the Dead. We would probably call this thing a snow globe. Most of the time in the United States, snow globes are put out as decorations around Christmas. This looks like a Halloween snow globe. I would like to pick it up and see how much it costs, but I don't want to break it. I can't, I can't, it's too dark in here. I can't see what that price is, but I'm sure you can see it when you're watching. I don't even want to know what that is. Is that a bride? It looks like almost somebody getting married, but way creepier, way spookier. That place downstairs looks like it is for employees only. An employee is somebody that works here, so we can't go down there. It's probably just where they keep extra merchandise. Merchandise is stuff that you can sell in a store. The floor is a little creaky. Can you hear it when I walk? 